Hello everyone, welcome to G-Centric. So in the last lecture we have completed equivalent capacitance problem. So in this lecture we will be seeing the star and delta conversion. So basically what do we mean by star? So it has got two other names with it. Okay, one is we will call it as Y connection and other, other name for this is T connection. Similarly, as star has got two, two names, even this delta has got two names. One we will call it as pi model connection and other one is we will call it as mesh connection. So the meaning of mesh is nothing but the smallest loop that does not have any other loop inside it. That is the smallest closed path and it does not consist any other loop inside that mesh. So when we will study mesh analysis, we will see what do we mean by the term mesh. Now coming to the symbolic representation of star, we can represent in this way. First, we'll, we, this element either can be resistors, inductors or capacitance. Okay? So this we will call it as star connection. This, this is R1, R2, R3. Okay? So next, uh, coming to this T connection, so we can connect this in this way. This is inductor, we will tell L1, L2, L3. Okay. Now, this all the ends are connected to a common node. Each end of the elements are connected to the common node and the other ends of these elements are left open. See here also this is a common node and uh, here the ends of these elements are rep uh, left open to connect to some other elements. Now, this it can be drawn other way round also. So, we will take this as we will take capacitor. So, in this way also we can draw this star. Okay. So, we, for next we will see star to delta. Before that we will see how even delta looks. Okay. So, delta we can again draw using inductor. So, this is the smallest closed loop path. Okay, it does not have any other loops inside this mesh. So, this is the closed path, smallest closed path that we will call it as mesh and it is also called as pi model that is because it is in the shape of pi. Okay, so this we will represent pi in this way. So there we have given that name also as pi. So this is the delta connection. Now we will see the conversion from star to delta. Okay, so this is the star connection. So we have to convert it into the delta connection. So when star is given, so to convert it into delta, imagine the shape of the delta. So what we can do is, we will join these imaginary lines to form the connection of delta. Okay, so we will complete this. Join these two ends. Okay, so now this is in the form of delta. So whichever conversion we want to make it either from star to delta or delta to star, we will draw the, uh, we will draw that delta connection if it is star. If it is either we have to convert from delta to star, then if delta is given, we will draw star inside it. So that it will be easy to convert the from one con from star to delta. Okay, so now we will name this as 1, this node as 2 and this node as 3 and let this be R12, okay, this is in between these two nodes, so that is R12. Next we will name this as R23 and this we will name it as R13. Now if we have to know the values of R12, R23 and R13, so for that we should, we, we do not need to memorize it. Okay, to calculate this value R12, the see the subscript that is 1 and 2 and this is 1 and 2. Okay, see the opposite branches which this branch is connected to. So this branch, this whole branch is connected to these two resistors R1 and R2. So what we will write 
R12 is nothing but equal to R1 plus R2. Whatever the subscript is there, write it here R1 plus R2 and sum of sorry product of these two resistors R1 and R2 divided by whichever resistor is absent, write this here that is R3. So, it is nothing but if you want to calculate the value from this branch, so you have to see whichever this branch is attached to which branches of the star connection. So, this branch is attached to R1 and to the node of R2. So, we will write R1 plus R2 and after summing it, what we will make? What is the brother of addition? It is nothing but the multiplication. So, after summing it up, we will multiply it R1 and R2 and whichever resistor is absent, we will divide it by R3. So, similarly, we will write R23 and R13. So, this R23 is nothing but the two nodes of the two, uh, R23 is attached to resistors R2 and R3. So, we will write it as R2 plus R3 and product of these two, whichever resistor is absent, R1 is absent. So, we will write it as R1. Next, coming to R13. So, R1 plus R3 plus product of these two resistor and the absent resistor that is R2. So, this is for the resistor. Now, if similarly it is same for the inductor as well as impedance. Next, we will only concentrate on capacitor and resistor. Okay. So, now here what we will, I will just rub here itself. So, I will draw this for capacitor. So, this is C2 capacitor, this is C1 and here it is C3. So, this one also we will rub it off. So, this is nothing but C12, this is C23 and this is C13. So, to calculate the values of C12, C23 and C13, it is nothing but opposite of the whatever for resistor, inductor or impedance. The technique remains the same. If C12 is connected to C2 and C1, then these two will be the product, sorry, sum and the product and whichever resistor is absent that we will take in the divi division part. Okay. <coughs> sorry. So, to calculate the C12, we will not write it as C12, we will take it as 1 by C12, which is nothing but 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C1 into 1 by C2, which, which capacitor is absent? C3. So, we will do it as C3. So, this again we can simplify it as 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus C3 upon C1 into C2. Similarly, for C23 and C13, it, it is same this way we have to write it. 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 plus C1 upon C2 into C3. For C13, C the subscripts that is C1, C3 plus two, second capacitor is absent. So, write it as C2, it is nothing but C1 into C3. Okay. So, this is the technique for converting from star to delta connection. So, resistor, impedance and inductor the values will be same this is the way but for capacitor we will take the reciprocal. So, next we will see delta to star conversion. Okay, so, this next we will come to delta to star conversion. So, we have seen the delta this is the, uh, the this is the delta connection. So, one point to remember in this is that if this is A and this is A dash and if it is B, this is B dash, if it is C and this is C dash. What we will observe is that the dissimilar ends of each of the elements are connected together. So, A dash is connected with B, it is not connected with B dash. So, dissimilar ends will be connected. That is the main point of the delta connection. Whereas in star, all the elements the node of the elements are connected to a common node okay? and the other ends of all the elements are left to connect to the other part of the circuits. 
ok. So, now this we have to convert it into star. So, our first step is to draw a star inside this delta ok. So, whichever part we have to convert we will draw it. So, this ok. So, this is nothing but the star connection. So, we need to convert this. This is node 1, this is node 2 and this is node 3. So, this is R1, this is R2 and this is R3. So, in this also we you do not need to memorize the formulas. What it will, what we can do is, if we have to find the value of this resistor that is R1, then this R1 is connected to So, this um, this R1 is connected to this R1, this R2, so this R12 and R13. So, this is the common node for it, ok. So, this is R12 and this is R13, ok. So, what we have to do in that case in delta to star we have, sorry star to delta we have summed the resistors then took the product of the sum and divided by the resistor which is absent. Here what we have to do to find this R1 these two are connected. So, this is nothing but R12 into R13. So, these resistors are connected ok. So, when these resistors are connected we will multiply it with R12 and R13 and for the rest of the thing we will sum it up all the resistors. So, here there is no concept of absence or presence. We will take the denominator of the summation of all the resistors. R12, R23 plus R13, ok. Similarly, for calculating the value of R2, to calculate the value of R2, see this node connected to these two branches. So, this is connected to R2 as well as this branch is also connected to R2. So, multiply both of them R12 into R23 and summation of the resistors, all the three resistors R12 plus R13 plus R23. So, similarly R3 also, so that R3 branch is again connected to this R13 as well as R23. So, R13 into R23 divided by R12 plus R13 plus R23, ok. So, this is the this is for the resistors. Now, coming same similar type of formula is for impedance as well as inductors. So, again the variation we will find it only in the case of capacitor. We will draw the capacitor in place of this resistors. So, here this capacitor. So, this is C1 this is C12, this is C2 and this is C23, this capacitor is C3 and this is C13, ok. So, again we will calculate taking the reciprocal. To calculate the value of C1, this we will write it as 1 by C1. What we need? We have taken the multiplication, but we will similarly we will do the multiplication, but we will take the reciprocal of the capacitors. So, it is nothing but C12 into C, C2 C13 ok. So, this because this is connected to these two branches C1 is connected to C12 as well as C13. Multiply that and take the summation of the all the capacitors, but in the reciprocal form. So, 1 by C12 plus 1 by C23 plus 1 by C13. Similarly, we can write it for C2 and C3. So, 1 by C2 it is nothing but 1 by C12 into 1 by C23 divided by 1 by C12 plus 1 by C23 plus 1 by C13. So, for C3, 1 by C13 into 1 by C23 1 by C12 plus 1 by C13 plus 1 by C23. So, this is the equivalent capacitors. We will take the reciprocal, ok. So, this is a conversion from delta to star. So, in the next lecture, we will see some of the conclusions when 
or the elements given are have got the same value. So when they have given same value, we can directly convert it into star to delta and delta to star. So there is no need to use this formula. But if they have given different values of the elements, then we have to go by this method. Okay. So in the next lecture, we will see those techniques and we will move on to the problems. One or two problems we will see on the on this delta to star conversion. Thank you.